can't believe Maurizio is dead. We had some good times with those tacos, guys. We had the best times with those tacos, Sean. Seems like just yesterday. It was yesterday. The taco massage was yesterday. Oh. Please be finished. All right. Are you ready, Santa Barbara, for the next two contestants on American Duo? with our judge thought. Come on over. Jules, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Sean, we have a situation. Some guy held up the bank and we think he's taking hostages. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Gus is in there. Uh, calm down. Hey, 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 calm down. I'm sure you're making this sound worse than it actually was. Look, you look at me. Okay. We're in this together. Okay. Just like we always are. You and me. You want to throw some pants on? Okay. I'm gonna put on a pot of coffee. We're gonna go down there together and we're gonna look at this. Okay. We're gonna make it kosher. Okay. What does that mean? The meats and the cheeses, they're not gonna touch. That's right, they're not gonna touch. They're not gonna touch. Stay here, I'll be right back. <laughs> Holy living. Yeah. Dude, I think you might have actually undersold this thing. You didn't kill this guy, right? No. All right. Well, you've got innocence on your side. What? I think we should call the police and let the chips fall where they may. You're talking like a real white guy right now, Sean. Brothers don't get the benefit of the doubt. I will not rot in the cell. You said we were in this together. Come on, man. You know I'm going to bake you a cake with a gun in it. You said that the meats and the cheeses are not going to touch Sean. Well, they're touching right now. They're touching right now. You're going to poke me and talk to me crazy. You oh, oh, Dude! Oh, man! Well, I'm all dirty. Sean, your nose, it's bleeding. What? Your nose, it's bleeding. That's you! Ah. <laughs> 
Dad, we really, really, really screwed up. Burton, see you in your dreams. P.S. <laughs> what? Come get some. Still the king. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> Man, how come every girl posts like a million photos online of her and her friends posing cheek to cheek? It's so lame. Says the guy who has that on his desk. It's not posted online, Gus. Yet. And now I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank someone who's not only responsible for planning all of this tonight, complete with a Rastafarian theme that you all embraced so heartily, but who is also the mastermind behind the solving of tonight's crime. I know it's true I'm the psychic, but uh, oftentimes my revelations are nothing but a cryptic mess. Tonight, for instance, all I could see were scenes from Pretty in Pink, a giant rhombus in a t-shirt that read, soccer moms are easy. Now, I don't know what these things mean, but Gus is somehow able to shape them into cold, hard, evidential facts. But that is not what makes him great. No, sir. Burton Guster has been my best friend since we were five. And maybe, just maybe, if any of you can look yourselves in the mirror and know that you've been half a good as friend, to someone else, as Gus has been to me. Well, you too can be considered great. Give it up for my best friend, Burton Guster. But look at me now, Sean. I am here. I found myself, and not at a nine to five, but with my closest friend solving crimes, living life to the fullest. And if we have to do it a little further up the coast, then that's what we'll have to do. So be it. Jules, mm -hmm. Chief. Oh, Mr. Custer, you guys look at us, we're all here. We can set up shop here. What? We can... We can solve crimes, and Chief, we're gonna be twice as efficient now. Wanna know why? Because we have two steering wheels. Look at Gus. He's unstoppable. It's like Wesley and Tu Wong Fu. What? Only Burton gets the needle. I have something far more colorful in mind for you, Sean. Firing squad? Please say firing squad. I don't blame you, Sean. I want you to know that, that if I had a chance to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. You're my best friend, and we got a chance to live out our childhood dreams. I don't blame you, okay? 